I, in a, in a couple of ways, I, um, and I identify as a, as a Quaker informed person. I, I graduated from a Quaker college and really enjoyed participating in that Quaker community. I'm not an official member of the Society of Friends, so I always feel like it's important to be authentic about, about those things, uh, but I certainly identify uh, most um, with, with friends. I, I think the principle within that that guides me the most is this idea, well, two pieces, um, three, three pieces. Let your word be your word. Um, I shouldn't need to swear to you, you should always trust that in things big and small, I'm going to tell you the truth. And I should be able to trust that in things big and small, you are always going to tell me the truth. And that's how we get at better solutions. That's how we get at truth. Um, the second is simplicity. I think in government, it is very easy to take ourselves too seriously. It is very easy to put politicians or others up on pedestals when, again, it goes back to that idea of permission to leave or lead or servant leadership. I tend to see my role um, not as a fancy position of authority, but rather as a person that's standing there holding out a megaphone so that different people can come and speak through that megaphone and inform policy and culture and thought. Um, it's not about titles, it's not about parties, and it's certainly not about background deals. And that comes to the third part, which I think is probably the most driving piece for me. And it's that very basic idea of everyone having a piece of the light. And that can also be the most challenging. If I am working with someone and I'm incredibly angry with them or really disagree with where they're coming from, that can be a very difficult exercise to sit and try to recognize what is that piece of truth that is within what they are arguing? What is the, what can I learn from what it is that they are pushing forward? And particularly in times like these when everything is so divisive and so many of the things that we disagree about on a public stage to me are questions of basic morality and humanity. It's really hard to sort through um, those positions and figure out what is it that I'm supposed to be learning from from this piece because racism is just wrong. Like there's not, I, I don't see, uh, there's not a side to that. But what I can find is people that feel frightened. What are they frightened of? What are they afraid of? What is the piece of control that they don't think that they have? What are the places in their lives where their needs aren't being met or they feel their needs aren't being met? And what can we learn about policy from that perspective? We must rise to the majestic heights of meeting physical force with soul force. Thank you for listening to this short clip from the Soul Force Ones, a podcast about purpose and practice. To listen to the full clip with politician Oregon State Senator Sarah Gelser, visit soulforceones.com or wherever you listen to podcasts.